that Democrats have it wrong, that if there's great income inequality, it's never solved by trying to equalize how much money people have, but rather equalize opportunity. They say the poor will always be with us. Some people succeed more than others, so that the role of government and policy, according to the conservative argument, is you just give everyone the opportunity, a fairer opportunity to succeed, as opposed to trying to shave inequality. So I don't support just taking money from the top 1% and handing it to the lower 99. What I want to do is build wealth generators. And wealth generators are access to education, are access to new uh, economies, are decent housing and places to live in dignity. Um, you know, the fact is, is that there are more people living in poverty today uh, than ever before. There are more kids going to bed hungry. Yeah, we're always going to have poor. We're always going to have the poorest 10% of Americans, um, but it's not the case that we can't uh, have less people that are poor. It's not the case that we can't have So is the people. argument between your side and their side is how do you get fewer of them? I guess I think that's a defining debate. So they would argue that, as you said, government regulation or taxing people prevents the private sector from creating jobs and having wealth to spend on creating. You're arguing that government investment actually spins off into creating private jobs, whether it's the highway system in the 50s or investment education that gives people the tools to make more money. Listen, trickle-down economics, which is the essential backbone of their tax theory, has not worked. It has been debunked. If the uh, weaker your regulation, if, if, if there was a correlation between the amount of regulation you have and the strength of your middle class, Sub-Saharan Africa would have the strongest middle class in the world. Our regulatory system has made our economy strong, has built our middle class. It, it, it hasn't weakened it. So I, I just think there's no empirical data to suggest that lower taxes for the wealthy uh, or weaker consumer financial or economic regulation builds the middle class. I think all of the data suggests otherwise. What size shoes you have? Notice you have big feet. Yeah, these are uh, these are 12s, but I think my feet are actually shrinking as I get uh, oh, really? as I get older. Yeah.